It's yeah. crazy, man. It's crazy. But and it, I think it's also about timing, man. It's also about timing. This isn't the right time for him. He should just lay low. I also saw him at the. Oh, we gotta right. talk about that. We gotta talk oh, about yeah. that. I see. Yeah. He's, well, yeah. I saw him. He looked like his dad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, it's it's. Uh, I was surprised and at the same time not surprised to see it, the altercation. And I guess what they see is true. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the hey, Rick's homie was out here getting chin checked. Got laid down, stood up, went back to defense mode while while Rick was still trying to play. Uh, 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 O-line. He was holding people off. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Vancouver. It, it all happened uh, at the Vancouver Ignite Musical Festival. After the show was done, Rick's DJ decided to play the hardest song out right now, calling a native Canadian a PDF file. I guess that didn't sit well with the native Canadians because, well, Vancouver is not close to Toronto, but I guess they see him as the face of the nation, which is kind of crazy if the face of the nation is called the P PDF file. Well, I don't, I don't think that they, as a, as a city, see him as a representative i think there was a specific group present there that evening that was like nah man you're not gonna do this to our hero and then they confronted him might have even been people who were there on an assignment i mean the stories, yeah, are, yeah, are... stories are out there that maybe these guys were of uh, a, a certain biker group that uh, drake is affiliated with I mean, we all know that that specific biker group is well connected throughout the world. They have a hub in different states. And maybe they called in to Vancouver because Vancouver is not close to Toronto. It's like a five hour flight. So Rick thought Drake didn't have that reach. Yeah, but I think you should look at it as... as like uh, you know like when you have internal matches uh, NBA games of course you're from Miami you are rooting for Miami you're against Milwaukee, Milwaukee. you're against, against LA etc but when you're playing uh, Germany, Germany or Argentina or you know Argent uh, Argentine or any other country abroad then it's like hey we against you. So you can also see it like that. I think yeah. it's more, they don't look at it city versus city. We against, well, the Canadian. You against the Hovios. Yeah, because yeah. Kendrick had it. He was dancing on Juneteenth. <laughs> Not only that, on Independence Day again. Yeah, bringing and bringing everyone together. I mean, and maybe they, I mean, yeah, but it's not clear to me who the people were that swung i do think that it's a rapper a local rapper from vancouver yeah maybe he's trying to get saying. maybe he's trying to get some cloud man yeah maybe he's, he's trying to get on the he's trying to get signed as well he's trying to get a he's trying to get a drake care package yeah maybe. get him on on a feature maybe you can do a, a well the care package drake's care package has been kind of low lately man she did he did a he did a song I almost said she well don't, don't try to misgender Drake um he what what I, I I made a mistake I almost said she uh, he made a song with uh Carmela Camelo I think her name is something like that Camila Caballo Caballo yes yes well that that didn't that, that horse didn't went very far because, <laughs> because uh, that song didn't hit at all which back in the days, every song he was uh, he he's on, yeah, would pop off. And I guess 
I guess Kendrick really put that out in a cage. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But and I think it's also about timing, man. It's also about timing. This isn't the right time for him. He should just lay low. I also saw him at the. Oh, we gotta right. talk about that. We gotta talk oh, about yeah. that. I see. Yeah. He's... Well, yeah. I saw him. He looked like his dad. <laughs> I've never saw the comparison. I've I've seen I've I've seen his dad before. This is the first time I've seen his dad's face in Drake. Yeah. I was yeah. like, "Damn, you're getting old, Drake. What is happening over here?" Well, let's talk about that later. Let's talk about that later. Right. Let's take a look at what others had to say uh, uh, on on Drake's. Uh, uh, well, on uh, Rick's. Well, I would say altercation, almost getting beat up, getting jumped, because Drake had a couple of things. Well, he responded to what happened. Let me share my screen real quick. This is what he had to say, man. Like never before. I put on woman, you're the one I adore. Happy Canada Day. I can't play the whole thing because I don't I'm not trying to get any copyright claims, but he was wishing everyone happy Canada Day. It happens to be the the day after. Rick getting beat up. Yeah. Talking greasy. He was talking greasy. Yeah, but right now, man, let, let's be honest. This is, like I said, I mean, everyone was trolling, but I think Drake should just lay low. Step back for, for a while. You know what I mean? This isn't his summer. He's known for the summer hits. This isn't his summer. He should just wait for the next one. Well, he wasn't the only one who responded, as always. Fairy. Fairy. Fairy tends to always, well, take a dookie on his, on his enemies when they shit the bed. That's the huh? Fairy's philosophy is kick a man when he's down. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's take a look what he had to say. Hey, guys. You know, I just saw... Uh, uh, very unfortunate use. situation that took place in Canada. And I want to say to everyone, you know, that I um I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out like right there that was not that does not reflect him that reflects his camp and he might need to go get the uh the dream chases or um <laughs> the 305 killers <laughs> oh man 50 oh man if you're 50's enemy man you can you can miss a beat you can yeah, he's a master pro man Master troll, master troll. Well, and I, I think, and let's be honest, during the drink, drink uh, uh, during the, the beef, Rick Ross was also having a field day. Yeah. The problem is, you. I mean, if you're going to, you, you need to be mindful about your surroundings. You can't. If you're going to do something like that, you have to make sure that when you're done, the exit the exit is it's clear closed. yeah it's just in a hall filled with security just you can't be outside. so off-duty cops ready to you, pop off if it needs to be yeah you, you can't you can't just be walking outside with no one around you well not no one of course you had your bodyguard two, two guys just some reels just some reels man anyone can jump over a reel they can yeah, Push, I mean, I mean it's uh, you, you need a bit more than that. Oh, yeah. It uh, looks great. Yeah, a major artist in the territory that's his piece. 